Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy P. Lot, aka the Brick Slinger, and guess what? Your boy got something to say. So, some of you probably already know there has been an interesting conversation between Kevin Samuels and Nicki Minaj, and I can only imagine it was a big, big, big. Uh, Ooh, it's going to be interesting. Ooh, it's going to be interesting. And all that stuff. And I checked the conversation out. But, but one thing I want to acknowledge is that there are probably a lot of people with mixed feelings about how Kevin Samuel should have spread, got it, should have got it, Nicki Minaj for saying certain things and this, that, and the third. But here's my thing. I've checked the conversation out. And I think it's the one, it's, practically up to this point of this year the dopest conversation to to have that uh kevin samuel displayed and many people were trying to make it seem like oh he's just doing this because of this and he's doing this because of that no if anything let's start from the top when Nicki minaj asked mr samuels to rate her he was like no nah, this is not how I, this is not what i do how I do it is I let you rate yourself. And when he went through it, went through the process that he usually do, ask her what does she rate herself without using a seven? Because seven is a common deep common number by default and all that stuff. She literally used seven, even though he said can't use seven because it's this, that, and the third. And she's like, for her, it's like it's not a default. It's, okay, cool. However, he gave her a nine for for certain certain feature plus eyes. And many guys will probably be like, eh, you, you sh why in this, that, and the third? And it's kind of like, what do you expect from an image consultant? People, it's like folks keep forgetting that one of his professionals is image. It involves image. He 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 practically studied the art of image. But that's that's just one of many things, and I know many people probably like. Well, before all this stuff, she wouldn't be no nine. She she don't look like no nine. Let's keep it a buck. Nicki Minaj, despite the work that's been put on, been done, she's still a beautiful woman. She's still an attractive woman. So for him to give her a nine, although in my opinion, without makeup, fresh out the shower, she looked like she could be a, 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 a potential nine, but an eight. But that's just me. But that's just me. It's not like she's not... You know what I'm saying? It's not like she... I'm not saying that she's not beautiful. I'm saying that she's not, in my opinion, the whatever the nine he had in mind does not match the nine I have in mind. As far as I'm concerned, she's an eight with a with a put with adjustable nine. But that's just me. But here's the here's another thing. What made this conversation more interesting is the fact that how she presented herself and how he presented himself. You can tell that they both come from two different um, era of how to be and how to do and do this, that, and the third. But how he presented himself is basically responding to how she presented herself. She didn't come up with that rah, rah, like a dungeon dragon. She presented herself nicely. And even though she was asking, asking them questions, asking all them questions and stuff like that, he answered the question. And far as i'm concerned she didn't have to do she didn't even have to ask him those type of questions but those are the type of questions that needs to be asked and i know people were probably was like why didn't he get at her for saying stuff like this like dude do you not pay attention to how she presented herself it's funny how someone like Nicki minaj who is a who is a top female rapper who who who's making money and building an empire and stuff like that how in the world someone like her can come to samuel mr samuel and be like mm, how you, you know what i'm saying be 
be cool, come and collect. When throughout 18 months, maybe two years that he's been out, majority of women who wants to be at least up to or at least halfway up to where Nicki Minaj is at financially, but yet they can't even present themselves to have a simple, uncomfortable conversation. This and understand something. This is not me bashing women. This is not me bashing black women. But this is me set um just saying like yo. I've, all the times I've been watching Kevin Samuels, I acknowledge how certain some some black women get at Kevin Samuel because they don't like his message, but mostly they don't like his method of how he presents the message. And many people are trying to make him look like he he's the antichrist of black women. When the truth of the matter is, he's the total opposite. I'm not saying he is the Christ. I'm not calling him a Messiah, nothing like that. All I'm saying, he's not the antichrist of black women. If anything, he has dope conversations with some black women. It's just that we, you, most people are dependent on the shade room to find the average at best video. The 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 wannabe 10 video they don't want to pay pay attention to other conversation that was beneficial and and even taking it taking him further nobody even paying attention to the com, uh the time when he have conversation with men black men white men too but mostly black men he have those conversations with them but nobody really pay attention to those conversations why because for some reason Men talking to men is not entertaining when it comes to the female perspective. Men bashing black men bashing women, especially black men bashing black women. Oh, that's entertainment as mug. Why you think live, love and hip hop is still active to this day? But we also see in love and hip hop with black women bashing black men. That's entertaining too. But we don't want to see those conversations, see those type of conversation be presented cool, calm, and collect, simple. We want to see conversation where chairs are flying, drinks are splash, all that splash in the face, all of that. At some point, we need to have these conversations to be on display. Big shout out to Eight at the Table for having these conversations. Heck, big shout out to Fresh and Fit for having these conversations. Uh, Bernard Wiley. Riley. Forgive me if I mispronounced it. But he's having these conversations. Uncle D. Dennis Sperlin. He's having these conversations. We need to have these uncomfortable conversations in order for us to finally clear the smoke. Sweep the dust, not under the rug, but sweep it to, the, to throw it away. Let's have these conversations, ladies and gentlemen, especially within the black community. But that's just me. If you like what you heard, there's a like button. If you dislike what you heard, there's a dislike button. Comment. Let's continue this conversation. Who knows? We can take this live. It can be live, people. Also, subscribe, share this, share this video. Let's spend the conversation. It's spark the conversation, please. If until then, it's your boy P. Lot, aka the Brickslinger, and as always, continue to sharpen one another, support the kingdom, take care, and God bless, laborers. <laughs>